Hey everyone, today we're going to check out the new beta version, version 1.19 for Minecraft Education Edition. Alright, so this new beta is out and available, ready for testing, but don't forget if you like what we do, make sure you give us a thumbs up and click on that little bell so that you don't miss out when we bring new content. So this is essentially the wild, which is uh, or wilds, which is in bedrock um, at the moment, and so the beta is being tested in education edition. And there are a few things that have been added. We've got new blocks, we've kind of got new biome change environments, some new mobs as well, which is cool. And definitely one big change, which I think is going to be really cool for one particular area of the curriculum. But let's have a look first now because there's a new biome it means that there's a new item that can be used and so we've then means everything that we know and love has been manufactured into that item so if we take a look here we have this mangrove plank so planks we all know but mangroves is the new part we're going to have a look at mangroves in a second but all of these that we know so fences and gates and stairs and doors and what else we got here we've got some trap doors and we've got some planks and we've got our wood some of them will be kind of new so you know we've got these mangrove roots and then these muddy mangrove roots as well we've got our signs and my my lamb, llamas hanging out there in in the boat in the boat with the chest and then buttons and pressure plates so all of this kind of all very similar just in that maroon color which represents mangroves and then same again here with mud. So we've got mud bricks, uh, mud brick walls, and that, that one there will be mud bricks. We've got mud brick stairs, mud brick slab, and then we've got just a couple of few little different ones here. So we've got packed mud, and then you just got kind of just mud on its own, and then this combination of uh, mud and roots, so all mangrove roots and muds together. The other kind of extra new ones, these belong, don't necessarily belong here in this biome, more towards the nether space as well, but you have this um, skulk as well. So we've got skulk vein, um, the skulk catalyst, you've got the shriker, I think it is, and the sensor as well, which is sitting in there. But let's have a, you know, obviously the mangroves and the mud, it was a big part of it. So let's have a look at what that all means. So if I kind of move over here into this space, one thing I'm gonna go and grab for my in inventory if I start writing mangroves is this little guy here. And this is kind of like my, my seed, I guess, to grow that mangrove space. So I'm gonna grab that, pop it in my hot bar, and just kind of start planting a few. You can plant them in the water as well, like so. You'll see their place. They won't go on sand, so they do need dirt or they need grass to go in as well and what is going to be included in my mangrove space as well is if i remember i think it's called frog spawn there it is there let's bring it out and what i do is i just place this it just sits on top of the water okay so it won't go on the sand or the dirt but it will sit on top of water and so this is kind of um, you know, we would just kind of call these eggs and if we're looking at the lifestyle of a frog, that's where we're going with this. Um, like, did I say lifestyle? I mean life cycle um, of a frog. And so I've kind of whacked a few down because I kind of want it to, pressuring it to work for me. It does take a bit of time. I could change the tick speed to speed this up, but we'll just see how we go. So there we go. So we're going to leave that. But while we're waiting for that, if we just want it to naturally happen, we would just leave it and let it wait. Let's push along. And what I want to look for here, uh, well, what we're going to get is we're going to get tadpoles. So you can grab a bucket of tadpoles, okay? But I'm more interested in this one here, the tadpole egg. So let's grab that, put it into my hot bar number three, and then I'm going to pop them in the water. And so there they are there. Off they go. I can even jump in the water here with them and I can spawn them underneath. There we go. And so they're just gonna, and there's already some in here as well, but they're just gonna swim around. Now, what is naturally going to happen with a tadpole? Yes, I hear you say it's gonna turn into a frog. I'm glad we all remember our, um, from, from school. 
And so to speed up that process as well, let's have a look at what that's going to look like because we know we're going to end up with that. So we are going to end up here with this frog spawn. So let's spawn some frogs. Let's go first in the water. You can spawn them in the water as well. Off they go. Let's pop a few in. I'm kind of getting these gray ones. There's also orange in color. There we go. There's an orange one. And so when I spawn them in here, they will just kind of swim around. Okay, but I can come above ground. They've already started leaving. Okay, and I can spawn above ground as well. I'm really just getting gray ones, aren't I? Let's... I'm going to go crazy. Just not giving me orange ones. We, we saw it before. I did get an orange one in the water. I'm going to give up. There we go. So, way too many frogs now. Now, while we've kind of been doing that, what we would have noticed here is that my mangrove has started to grow. And I have kind of prepared some earlier so you can really see how big they grow. But this one has just kicked off and started growing. And before, over here, so you can kind of see this one kept growing and growing higher up as it grows. Um, and I've just completely destroyed that. But they will kind of keep climbing. So... As I said, these ones started off nice and simple and you kind of end up with that same, because as they're growing, they're spawning again from that same item, which is kind of pretty cool. So you get some pretty decent height with these as well. But when they do spawn, you will notice they go really big quite really quickly. So the only thing that's gonna be different here is that these here are going to eventually explode. That's what they look like when that happens. They explode and then we kind of have like a little tadpole that will jump out. I have noticed if you have them too close to the edge of the land when they spawn because they kind of jump up. They, yeah, well, there we go. So you can see in the back there one of them's landed on the land and in the second it will die because it needs to be in the water so it's going to go red and poor little guy has died. So just keep that in mind. Too close to the water's edge they won't survive. What else is new as well, mob-wise? We've been checking out mobs now. Excuse me if I pronounce this wrong. I believe it is Alay or Alay. Let's, but same, same. <laughs> Let's pop it in. Uh, this is a new passive mob. So if I spawn it, it's like a little blue guy. This reminds me a bit of the Vex um, as well. What they kind of do is they, they search and look for in the local area and to collect and find things as well so they're like I don't know like scavengers might be a good way to think of it okay if I for so for example they normally grab items but I can hold some sugar cane here if I wanted to find more of that what I do is I come up to it and then it's moving quickly but if I right click on it oh I'm gonna get it too far there we go so you can see now it's holding um, that sh that sh that sugar cane as well and so eventually if we give it enough time it will kind of move out and it will search for those items and bring it back um, as well so they do tend to like you or favor you when you give them something so see it's coming back to me it's a bit worried i'm going away so they kind of become a bit attached to you as well at the same time what else is kind of new in here you have these horns which might kind of make some cool noises um, so these goat horns, you can grab them and you just kind of right click and if you've got your sound on, you'll get that noise from there as well. You've got the echo shard. Now the echo shard doesn't really do anything but help you to build the recovery compass. So here is the recovery compass. So you would need, um, in a crafting table, you would need, what, need eight echo shards and one compass in the middle. And so my compass isn't gonna work properly because the way that this works from a traditional compass, so with a, a normal compass, is that it will point back to the spawn, the original set world spawn position, and then um, you could find your way there. A recovery compass is a little bit different. It will point back to where you last died. So definitely leaning itself more to survival mode than it is creative mode. Mine isn't kind of working properly. It's just moving all over the place. And the reason why it's doing that is because I haven't died in the game. So it doesn't have a, a position to point back to. These are also new. So block wise. So these have kind of formed part of our, um, our, our frog 
um, environment. So what I, if I click on here and we write in, whoops, frog, there we go. So um, we've got these fluorescent and they kind of, this is a pearl color and then there's this verdant and then this orchard. So they're kind of, they call them frog lights. So I already had the green one out there. Let's grab the yellow one and this, I'm gonna say it's a pearl color based on its name, but it's kind of purple-ish. So I can place them down as well. Um, and so they give off quite a bit of light. So you can kind of see I've let it go dark. And if I move over here, you know, I wanna illuminate this area, I could put, them, put it down and you can see that amount of light that it's going to give off. So similar to, I guess, our lanterns as well. All right, so you are also gonna notice some differences to biomes, but in this case, I'm in peaceful mode and I've already spawned a few of these ones, but this is another one of our new, oh, he's right in front of me. Let's move out of the way. One of our new mobs. So this wouldn't spawn where I was before. I'd need to be in this particular biome in order for it to happen, but it is the warden. So the warden has come in as one of our new aggressive mobs. Um, as part of the game, again, very much leaning itself more to the survival side of the game, less creative, but it's, it's actually causing a bit of havoc just on its own. It's just not gonna um, cause me any issues. But that one is new as well. So how do you get to test this out? Let's have a look. Um, I'll pop the link to this website into the description, but essentially it is on the EDU community minecraft.net website here we can check out what's new so we've kind of looked through a lot of this there's some updates to kind of the way the functionality of the library works there's some experience some more improved um, user experiences as well and some work around sign-ins um, and minimum specs but essentially from here you just need to click on the download the beta version and on here, it's going to give you the instructions that you need in order to do that for your device. Now, some devices aren't ready for beta yet as of the date that this is being published. So we can see here that if you are on a Mac version, you will still need to wait to access the beta. Do keep in mind in that using the beta means that you can lose some functionality around multiplayer hosting because you need to be on the same version of each other. And it's a beta as well. So you may notice that there are some issues and that's perfectly fine as well um, but essentially here if you're like me and you're running on windows you would want to scroll down and look for either the download for the desktop or the store version i'm just running on the desktop now obviously as part of a beta is that you want to give feedback if you've noticed something so back here in the what's new is a link to the beta feedback forum that you can click on to provide feedback to the minecraft education edition team all right, so that is what is new and what is happening in the new Wilds update beta version 1.19. If you happen to get your hands on it and have a bit of a play around, I hope you have a good time. We will see you again soon. Cheers.